is. I told you. Playing fetch, you see. So. You're playing. So we take the blue ball, which is Bridget's favorite in the world, and then we go home. Go get. <laughs> Does she actually she bring it back? It. She brings it back in her mouth and drops it in your lap and then stares at you until you throw it again. We've been doing this literally all day. All day. She she's hasn't like, got time. Stop playing all day. She and has. she tore, like I made a mistake. I was sitting on the couch with my legs extended and I threw the ball over the couch, forgetting that my feet were right in her path. And she tore the crap out of my feet, jumping over the couch. And she hasn't gotten tired of this. No. No. Cats are weird. Cats all are the day. weirdest little fuckers. Day. Like 6 a.m. and just drop the ball in front of me. Like, let's go. And I'm like, cat, it's 6 a.m. We're not playing fetch right now. But literally, like, she's perfectly happy to wake me up every time minutes and I just like groggily throw the ball and then she entertains herself for, for, for a bit and then comes back and I groggily throw the ball and, and she's very happy. Oh, you might want to stop the stream if you have it going in the background. Why? Uh, you're, you're a bit, it'll, I think your bandwidth's a little congestive. That's okay. No. Yeah, just close whatever tab the stream's on, and that might help a little bit. Your tubes okay. are clogged! I don't know what's up with the Wi-Fi here lately. I don't know what's going on here. Like, nobody else is even home, so I know nobody is downloading porn, so... Maybe I, you're being hacked. Maybe there's someone hacking into your Wi-Fi to get porn. I don't know. No, I, did, I actually didn't teach the cat to play fetch. She just does. She just does? Nobody taught her how to do this. She just does it and loves it and like carries the toy in her mouth like a dog and nobody taught her. She just absolutely loves to play fetch. And she's super attached to that one ball. I've never seen a cat so attached to a toy like and that ball gets lost under furniture all the time. Like it's a sadder love story than Romeo and Juliet because She's constantly separated from this ball, and she will literally just, like, throw herself on the floor wherever the ball is under something and just, like, sit shiva for her ball. And she, if there was one night she lost it under the clock, I didn't know why she was sitting and staring forlorn at the clock until I went and looked and rescued the ball. And she was like, fine! Like, she, she just sits and mourns her blue ball. You can try and play with other toys. No, she wants her ball. And it used to be one of those fishing pole toys. It used to be on a fishing pole with like a foot of rope and huge feathers. And she has whittled it down to, to just, just a ball. ball. And, and now it's her favorite thing in the world. That's her. But it uh, makes her happy, man. All right, so are we ready to get underway? Yes. Here she is. Hello. With the ball. You can't keep putting the ball behind my chair. I'm on the internet right now. She doesn't give a shit. You can't put it all the way behind the chair where I can't get it. Each week, Catherine goes out in the worldwide... Catherine, the radio there. Audience go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And this first story this week, if you need your faith in the world renewed, we're not going to cover this very long, just briefly. I just wanted to touch on this because it was so beautiful. This is one of those things that happens. It's one of those convergences that makes you just smile. It reaffirms a little bit that there is some good and justice. That There is justice in the universe is what this kind of says to me. Let me uh, bring this up on the screen here. Because this, this says everything about it. Final proof! Justin Bieber is unbearable. Russian fisherman is safe from bear attack. But ringtone featuring one of the, the Pop Brat songs, Scare It Away. We now have official use for Justin Bieber's music. You can repel bears with it. Wow. Wow. 
Oh, look at this poor guy. Yeah, I know. I bought. Yeah, he got fucked up. Like, I bought, but, but just the. Just to put, yeah, he was being mauled by a brown bear. The phone went off, and the bear was scared away by Justin Bieber singing "Baby, Baby, Baby." I mean, wouldn't you be unbearable? You're going to hell for that one, Glitterby. So you know what? You Justin Bieber and. The Someone get the parks department on the phone and let people know that if you're camping in the woods. And a bear comes at you, start playing Justin Bieber, and you will be safe. I can't guarantee that, but it's worth a try. Yeah. I like, usually cover your head, try not to look like a threat. Baby, baby, baby. That's, that's all you need. That's all you need. Bieber. Now we're going to get on to the, the, the disappointing stuff. Um, this is Somebody asked me how old Bridget is, and I feel it relevant to mention that Bridget will actually be exactly one year old on Friday. Oh. She's going to have her birthday on Friday. She knew we were talking about her, so she had to roll like, over. What? Like, what? 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 Food? What? Yeah. I heard you. She's going to be exactly a year old on Friday. Okay, our first horrible thing comes from Canada. Oh. We have all had bad fights with our significant others over the years. We've all dealt with this. But there are limits. There are times to acknowledge the fight is done. Let it go. This lady didn't. Woman scales barbed wire fence hoping to stop a plane in Canada. Who climbed a barbed wire fence at Halifax Stanfield International Airport in Nova Scotia, Canada on Sunday. The intention to stop the plane she thought was carrying her husband. Her intent was to stop the aircraft from taking off. She jumped the security fence, but she was nowhere near the aircraft. The airport staff and the amount of police responded right away and apprehended her. The woman climbed over a 10-foot security fence with angled barbed wire around 8.30 a.m. She was immediately spotted by the contr aircraft control tower. One of our folks on the area and apprehended her. Um, police took the why? Woman. I don't, it doesn't say. It doesn't say why she had to... Did she think he forgot his lunch? I'm... You know what? I'm pretty sure this was kind of one of those fights where one of the, one person or the other decided to say, and another thing! Gotta get that last word in, man. Gotta get that last word in, right? Just took it a little too far. For fuck's sakes! Do you understand? I don't think... Do people understand how big an airplane is? Yeah, you're not gonna stop it on foot. That shit is like... Okay, think of a school bus... Now think bigger. Now think bigger than that. What were you planning to do if you caught up with the plane? Oh, sorry, Bridget. I didn't know you were so close. She was trying to what, imitate. What was the plan? She was trying to imitate liar, liar. Yeah, she was going to be like a Jim Carrey. She's like, okay, I'm over the fence. Now I got to find one of those luggage drivey thingies and it will work perfectly. Hmm. No, really, you just end up at Gitmo. No shit, they don't play around these days when you fuck with the planes. They do not. They don't, not they take that fuck around. They take that shit kind of serious. We're a little skittish, you might say. They'll your prosthetic leg. What? They'll confiscate your fucking prosthetic leg. Just for fuck's sake, you, you, nothing is, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Get him a cell phone. For fuck's sake, you can use them on the runway now. They let you. Get him a cell phone. Well, if the plane was in motion, then they make you take it off then. Yeah. Uh, this next thing, I have to admit, sucked me into it. I feel just strange. But it was it was one of those... This was like... A train wreck. You couldn't not look at it. I think this is one of the... There's got to be some sociology project involved in this. 
Have you ever... All right. Are you familiar with Twitch Plays Pokemon? You know, I heard of that? Okay. What it was is uh, Twitch ran this stream. And people in the chat actually controlled the character. And everybody got to do the next move and whatnot. And Twitch, as a group, played Pokemon. Played a oh. Pokemon game. That was kind of cool. This... This is just... I don't... I don't understand, and yet I was... I was there! Huge numbers! Watch Fish! Playing Pokemon live online! Do Fish know how to play Pokemon? Because my nephew tried to explain it to me, and I didn't get it. <laughs> So, like, my nephew and I played played Pokemon, which is really, he handed me cards and played for me, because I did not understand it. So if fish are smarter than me... Well, no, it's... All right, it, the, the basic premise was they set up a webcam with motion detection, and they divided it up into nine grids, each grid corresponding to a button on the Game Boy. And wherever the fish moved is what button would be pressed... And there was even a randomized to scramble up where all the buttons were located. So as the fish moved around, it was able it was able to control the character on the screen. That's kind of fun. This fish managed not only to get its starting Pokemon, but I think it won a fight. Well, I mean, enough I know this. Because from my days of playing Soul Calibur, which is the only video game I was ever good at, because that is a fighting game that responds exceptionally well, for me, to random button mashing. Because I've never once ah! learned which buttons do what and how to play. I've never bothered that's, to learn how to play a video game. That's how I play fighting games, too. I'm just like... Yeah. And my friends laugh at me because when the other character swings at me, I dodge. As though it's a Wii. I did this long before the Wii existed. <laughs> but Soul Calibur or Soul Blade or whatever that whatever the current version is called responds re remarkably poorly to that actually. So I once walked through the entire game, didn't have to hit continue once. I didn't lose a single fight. Just going like this. And my friend, whose game it was, was furious because he'd been trying to beat the game for weeks. Like, learning cheat codes and learning moves, and I just walked the fuck through it in half an hour. So, it's possible. Tara? By just doing shit. I want you to guess, without looking at the article, guess how many people watched this stream. 10,000. A hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. A million? Over one million people. You know what that means? What? We need a fish. <laughs> Literally, Bridget didn't do it for him anymore. I don't even know where she went. She's had it. She's gone. There were times when during this stream, up to 20,000 people, 23,000 people at one time were watching this fish. Do you know how much that wow. is in ad revenue? But this person, and she, it's, a, it's a woman too, it's, it's, which is awesome. She's, a, she's an engineering student, which is even cooler. She, I think she just paid for college with a fish. Well, yeah, because it's like, it's a college rite of passage you have to have a beta fish if you're a girl in college it's like a requirement that you have to go to the shit pet store at the mall and get yourself a beta fish it's the same thing that we do well she... and there's always some dumb girl that doesn't listen and gets two and one of them kills the yeah it's a college girl thing we all have a beta fish and and well i think they used it to pay how do I know just if I was that girl? I had a beta fish. It's above 3.6 million views now. 
Wow. And do you know what the stream consisted of in the chat? This was what was fascinating. Thousands of people yelling abuse at a fish. I can't tell if Tara locked up or I think just telling her that broke, broke her connection. Are you still there, Tara? I, don't know. I think so. You froze. Yeah, it, the whole thing locked up for me for a minute, but it came back. It was just, it was thousands of people where they were going, you fucking fish! Fucking go left! Go left, fish! The fish has a brain the size of, like, a, a single sprinkle of pepper. The fish does not understand Pokemon. Human the beings! fish understands swim in a little tiny circle until food comes. Human beings were issuing death threats to a fish. This is what the internet has done to us. Oh. I have I have more. This this actually kind of scares me a little bit. Um, do you remember not long ago you had, we had that guy at the front of the uh, White House gate who wanted to talk to the president and strip naked? And he didn't get in. Secret Service well, they were <laughs> Thank God. You say that like it's a bet, and he didn't even get in. Yeah, well, you know, because he had a bunch of grown men jump on top of him, and then we talked about genitalia rubbing on concrete. And... Yeah. Well, the where he failed, a toddler succeeded. Toddler squeezed through the White House gate and caused a security alert. Throngs of secret agents, uh, secret service agents, are always on watch for suspicious packages near the White House gates. Anyone who may be looking to infiltrate the grounds. But Thursday night, they had a slightly smaller scale security breach to contend with: a toddler who squeezed through the fr through the fence in front of the residence. The br the, the brief kerfuffle. That's actually in a news story. Kerfuffle. As agents scrambled to intercept the pint-sized intruder, concerned what most people. Kerfuffle's a legit word. What? Kerfuffle's a legit word. Um, this confirms what most people already know and confirms what we, uh, as members of this show, know. Toddlers are sneaky and fast! This one was promptly returned to his parents. Little guy's not in any trouble. But he got through and he was like running across the White House lawn. He was just a going. It's not the best part. It was this quote. We were going to wait until he learned to talk to question him, Secret Service agent. <laughs> but in lieu of that, he got a timeout and was sent on his way with his parents. <laughs> you know, the, the, they're, they're, they're laughing at about it, but you know that, that, that guy, that agent, he went back to his agents who were on duty that, t at that day. And and he gave them motherfuckers. He gave them the chewing out of their lifetime. But did you ever get your head stuck between the bars or something as a kid? Yes, I did. Every kid does this. I did Every it at Disney. Kid World. Does this? I did, did it at Disney, at Disney World. I snuck stuck my head through a wrought iron fence and it got stuck. And thank God we got it out without having to like call park staff and butter my head or anything. Some kid up here, maybe in Connecticut, just did it a couple weeks ago, and they literally had to grease the poor kid's head. Like, every kid does this. Engineer this kid just did it full body at the White House. Engineering dude has an interesting question. If you were in the Secret Service, would you tackle a toddler? Yeah, what do you do about that? Yeah, they don't understand freeze yet. They don't understand get down on the ground, put your hands over your head. A little bit of a dilemma there. Tara's locked up again. These stories are so horrible, they're locking shit up. Oh, slight movement. Slight movement. There we go. Now she's back. Locking. It's not, it's like I said, something's up with the internet here. I don't know what it is lately. It's been bad across the board. It's just, it, just, motherfuck. Someone got fired. That's all I know. Speaking of getting fired, 
we put a lot of faith in teachers. We, every single day, we hand teachers a bunch of children and we trust them not to break them. Maybe they'll learn some shit, but the majority of what we're doing is here, don't break it. You know, simple shit, right? You think that would be an easy one to accomplish? And careful, this one's got no. auto play. play. I live with a child. I'm going to tell you, that's a really hard thing to accomplish. Well, you know what makes it easier? Pants. Wagoner teacher, jail, and yeah, it's an autoplay, so careful on that one. Oh, I think that... Ah, uh, Skype! We just started using it against the camera looks so good, and now we're going to have to go back to Google if this shit keeps up. This shit ain't right, man. I can hear you. Oh, Am you I can... not here? Yeah, now I hear you. You locked up there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, okay. I was in awe of the ad for the law offices of Jeff Martin, who apparently is actually Max Hedrum. Do you have that ad on your screen? No, I haven't. I blocked the ads so I can do the oh. show. <laughs> I don't want to put an ad for a law firm, and the guy really looks like Max Hedrum. I don't put. I, I put the ad block on mainly because I don't want to show unintended ads on the screen. But yeah, Wagoner teacher jailed after showing up at school drunk, pantsless. Wagoner public school teacher was jailed Monday on allegation she showed up at school under the influence of alcohol. And without her pants, Lori Ann Hill, 49, was booked into the Wagner City Jail on a public intoxication complaint. Wagner school officials. Did you say something? Oh, you're just looking scowly again. Uh, Wagner school officials contacted police about 9 a.m. Monday after Hill was described as being dismissed, being disoriented, and without pants. She was interviewed by police officers, and it was determined she had been drinking. She found a room kind of disoriented by time we got there she was in a room and wearing shorts Haley said Hill was recently hired by the school district okay I know when I'm new at a job the first thing I've always done is make sure I'm on time every day even five minutes early sometimes stick to the clock don't take long lunch breaks you know oh coming back Tara fucking thing yeah Okay. Yeah. okay. Lots of little things I do because I want to keep in good... You know what I don't do? I don't get drunk before work! You try to show up fully clothed? Yes! They like they tend to like that. Unless, unless you work in the type of environment where they don't want you fully clothed. In which case, hey... Yeah. It's yeah. money you have to spend on work clothes. Awesome. There are some jobs where pants are indeed optional. In fact, encouraged to be optional, but this isn't one of them. No. Teaching, generally not a pants optional environment. No! You must be wearing something over your region. The area must be covered. More than that. Like, because you can't show up for teaching school in, like... A thong... Just, a bikini. Either. Yeah. Thongs are a no-go. Thongs are... that That's right out. Thongs... A thong. Wear something over it. I just... You know... The, the first... And the, uh, how do you fuck up a job that quick? That's like at the speed of light to fuck up your job. That's impressive. And the kids, wow, did they have some stuff to, what did you learn at school today? Well, school's not in session yet. It was like classroom prep, because it yeah. says classes start next week or something. Oh, but you so, know what? Everybody was talking about it. So at least there weren't any kids I, in the classroom for that. I know. When I was a kid, I know, even though they weren't supposed to, the teachers gossip like a motherfucker. Oh, well, yeah. You know all the kids knew about it what did you learn in school today? I learned my teacher doesn't wear pants. And, like, you get your teacher assignment mm. before school starts. So all the kids that were supposed to have this teacher, they know. They know. 
that's just god damn what's funny is if she made it to her room and was wearing shorts she clearly had clothes with her she just decided these pants are warm i'm too warm You ever done that when you're drunk? Just decided you're too warm, and you know, I've never done that either. I can honestly say that I have never been so drunk that I publicly disrobed. Yeah, yeah, I can say that. Yeah. All right. This... <laughs> you got to think it over before you make an assertion like that, because the last thing you need is somebody being like, "Actually, Tara." Actually. One of the uh, one of the things that's been happening in America lately that's been scaring the piss out of all of us is a whole lot of shit with guns. And I tried to walk the line on this one because some of them have been not so tragic and some of them have been some awful shit has happened. But normally, most of that shit comes from what I consider unofficial channels, you know, like Open Carry Texas or or some of those other little groups. But when you consider in America what's considered an official channel for guns, that would be the National Rifle Association. They are kind of the spokespeople for it. Yeah. And I will admit, even they have tried to be sensible about this shit. Try. A little, yeah, a little. What we really say sensible. Well, I think this, this time they kind of... And this came, I'm, I'm going to stress, this was posted on an official NRA website. This was on their official video stream. Yes, this really fucking happened. The blind leading the blind with guns. NRA commenter Dom Arasso released an interesting video this week arguing that just because someone is blind, that doesn't mean he or she should be unarmed. Yes, it does. The big, uh, yes. listen, listen to this guy. The biggest I'm concern... Sorry if that's terribly ableist of me. I'm on Tumblr now, so I know that I'm a bad person in ways I have not even yet managed to quantify. But... Yes, the it big, does mean that. The biggest concern I hear is having blind people carrying in public, Rasso said. Are you envisioning the person waving the gun around or pointing it at anybody for no reason? Because that's what it sounds like. Do you think because they're blind, they're going to start shooting in every direction and kill everyone? Fact is, it's been proven that people lack vision, have an increased awareness of their hearing and spatial surroundings. Which is wonderful, <laughs> except that you don't aim a gun with your ears. <laughs> I'm not worried about them just going around shooting everybody willy-nilly. I'm worried about them trying to shoot one specific person and shooting the guy three people over. Because <laughs> they can't see them. And they're not Daredevil. Uh, who, by the way, didn't use guns. No. As it turns out, the NRA, which posted the video to its site and YouTube on Monday, took the commentary down this morning. Because... I mean, really? Is that the hill you want to die on? Seriously! You know what? Being blind does not make you less of a person. But there are some things you simply can't do. You can't drive! You cannot... Well, does it ever weird you out that the drive-up ATM has special braille. instructions blind yeah. and the braille? Yeah. Because, like, it's not like it's just an ATM that they put in a drive-up spot. They no. have separate drive-up ATMs now. It's yes. a whole different machine. And, and they everything's braille. Right? Yeah, okay, Lionheart said, Firing blindly is a figure of speech! You're not supposed to drive blind because you rely on your vision to see. It's a dangerous situation. You have to be concerned. Other people's lives are at stake. There And even though we have made tremendous strides in trying to adapt our technology so blind people don't have to feel like second-class citizens, like, for example, it's going to be great when we get the Google cars that drive themselves. For blind people, that's going to be fucking awesome. But there is no situation currently that I can envision where a blind person can just use a gun and have, like, radar sense and shit. What are they supposed to echolocate? 
Is it gonna be like a dolphin? Eh, 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 eh. What was the fifth element where they had the gun that no matter which direction you yes, shot at, the bullets, the bullets would all yeah move to hit the target? Yeah. When they develop that kind of gun, cool. Well, I'm pretty much anti-gun for any scenario ever, but cool, make it legal for blind people to have guns. I guess, if anybody has to have guns, which I don't think anybody does, but that's a whole other ball of wax. Right. It's it just these, whatever your feelings about guns, you have to acknowledge, they have to be treated with respect. These are not toys. No. And the it's idea... Not- it's not people being dicks. It's just that when you have a physical disability, it means that you are physically unable to do some things. Right. We have like, technology to would blind. You are physically unable to do things that require eyesight. We're not discriminating against you. We're not trying to be dicks to you. Right. And we are trying to use the wonders of technology to adapt the world to work with people who have issues like that. And that's awesome, but not guns. It's just... Fuck's sake! Uh, what you, you want to get your like your seeing eye dog to bark in the? What is it, Lassie? Is it a robber? Bang! 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 No, that's not no. I mean, I guess if you could teach the seeing eye dog to shoot the gun for you, then that's a whole. Now here's the thing, and I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this. Do you have to wonder? If you get a seeing eye cat, and you get one of those ones that have thumbs, because there's types of cats that have thumbs. Yeah, they which do. Should be much more worried about then, you know, the cat could just shoot people for you, I guess. I, the one thing I'm really interested in finding out, and I'm going to keep an eye on this, is this finally the sort of thing that gets you fired from the NRA? Well, is this, this an was, official person yep. that works for them? Or that just was, like, that was, the oh, NRA, I figured they made the mistake of having a forum. Nope, NRA commentator. He, he does YouTube, or did YouTube videos for them. Yeah, that might be... We'll have to see. Is this the kind of shit that could get you fucking fired from the NRA? That might be a grassy knoll too far. And our last one tonight... Oh, internet. Have you seen this trend going around? I thought the cinnamon shit. You remember when kids would, like, Eat it. I thought that was the fucking extent of it. Maisie Williams tried to do that. Yep. Yeah. Arya Stark, there's a video of her trying to down, like, a whole tablespoon of cinnamon. It does it not work, work out for her. Have you, have you seen the new one where, I'm not making this up, kids are setting themselves on fire? And this is a challenge. This is the fire challenge or something. What's a challenge about that? Well, you would think this was just kids being stupid. And that someone older would step in and be the voice of reason in this sort of a situation. He would be wrong. Do you generally think... You wouldn't have to tell people not to set themselves on fire on purpose at all, ever, for any reason. Yeah, well, mom. That's the kind of thing we have to tell people, because it shouldn't be the kind of thing we have to tell people. It should be the thing that people know by the time they're in kindergarten. We have to tell this guy's this guy's mom. Uh, mom, help son set himself on fire for Facebook. He's okay. Minor burns. He's okay. Police in North Carolina have arrested a mom accused of helping her 16-year-old son record a video for Facebook where he set himself on fire. Videos of the teen setting himself on fire has become a viral challenge on Facebook. Charlotte Mecklenburg, police detectives, uh, watched the uh, video that showed the victim pouring fingernail polish on his body and setting himself on fire. The mother of the teen, Janie Talley, 41 was present and aware of what her son was doing and facilitated the recording. Other people who were there helped put out the fire. The victim sustained minor burns to his chest and neck area. Oy! I don't... I don't see how that's a party. Teach your children well and don't let them set themselves on fucking fire! 
but I don't even understand how this became a thing. Like, I don't either. What the shit? Kids really run out of things to do. <laughs> really? Fuck's sake, when I was bored, I read a book. I just don't, like, I honestly don't get how this is a thing. Christ, like, at this... this thing that could kill you to look cool on the internet? At this point, I'm almost, I'm almost ready to advocate heroin as an alternative. I don't even understand, like, have you ever watched the show Wipeout? No. I was watching this with family members on Sunday, and this is a show where people go through... Like, imagine the final Double Dare obstacle course on extreme anabolic steroids. Okay. So you have these sadistic, ridiculous, spine-breaking obstacle course. Everything's padded, but whatever. Yeah. You hit something at the right angle, you're cracking your neck like a twig. Right. Over pools of water, over pools of mud. They literally shoot them out of, like, a rocket at one point. And I'm looking, and I'm like, what's, what do you win if you win this thing? And they're like, oh, $50,000. And I'm like, fuck that. That's not worth 50000 That won't even pay the medical bills. Seriously, like, yeah. Like, I, I, I felt the same way about Fear Factor. Like, you could either face down Regis Philbin and answer trivia for a million dollars, or you could eat giant venomous spiders for $25,000. I know, I don't right? understand how that balances out. This doesn't even give you $50,000. You don't even get the money! There's no money! You just get, like... You know... You could just take off your top. I wonder if this is like an extinction. This is like when a species starts destroying itself. It's like an extinction event. It's like when you know fucking nature gives up. Well, what you're call what you're referring to is actually called natural selection. <laughs> <laughs> We're the weakest of the pack get eaten or burn themselves to death. But it's hard not to think that the planet's just trying to kick us off. And your mom! Your mom helping you! My mom would have beat the shit out of me! My dad was a fireman. So if I approached either of my parents and said, Listen, I need you guys to help me film a video where I set myself on fire for the internet. <laughs> First of all, it was the 80s, so they would have said, What's the internet? But whatever. But I, I cannot, I can't even fathom the response. I just. Probably, yeah, uh, just, Jesus Christ, and a whole bunch of other. What is wrong with you? Probably a lot of that. But to have your, to go up to your mom and say, Mom, I want to set myself on fire. Can you give me a hand? Sure, honey, I'll be right over there. No problem. Do you want to use my nail polish remover? Because that's flammable. You can use that. It'll be cheaper. Go ahead. We're, we're on a fixed budget, so use the nail polish remover. It's cheaper than gas. Nail polish? Well, I'm pretty sure... See, now I did, because back in my baton twirling days... Oh, welcome back, Bridget. Um, I would twirl fire a little bit, not a lot. And there are things, like, you have to dip the ends of the baton in an incendiary, but... Right. There are things that will create a cold flame. Yeah. That, like, if it happens to pass over your skin, it's not going to hurt you. We used to right. use kerosene because it's a colder flame than yeah. gas than most other accelerants. So that if you happen to kind of hit yourself, you aren't going to get a burn. And you wore sequin costumes for that because sequins are actually flame retardant, which I learned that way. But like, and I think nail polish remover will actually produce a cold f flame. But no flame is cold enough to be on your person for no. and a second or two. Like that was to protect us for the second or two that the baton might pass over us as we're doing a trick. And this was just this. <sighs> Why would you do this? I don't see how this is fun. How is this fun? In any or this, this doesn't fit any definition of fun. 
No. I never went up to my friends and said, hey guys, why don't we go down the street and set ourselves on fire? Does that sound like fun? It's not like fun to me. No. And I don't, like, and that's why I say, like, how does something like this start? <laughs> don't know. Uh. And, like, do you wonder, like, how bored are these kids? Like, is this a symptom of a greater problem? Not to get all super serious on what's not supposed to be a super serious bit, but, like... If Teen this on we For attention, then there's a greater problem. What, is it, like, teenage on we? Like, for God's sakes, just give your kids weed. <laughs> That's that's the takeaway for this week. For God's sakes, just give your kids weed. How much happier would so many people be? Eh, that's the point. You're not going to shoot up a school on weed. You're not going to set yourself on fire. You're nope. not going to throw a squirrel into the Grand Canyon, which apparently some asshole did this week. Like, you're not going to do any of those things on weed. You're just going to get really hungry. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, I, I guess I guess the first thing we learned this week is just give the kids weed. Yeah. We're at the point where it's not like it used to be don't do drugs. Now we're like, oh God, if you're gonna set yourself on fire, just just have a please hot just, brownie and be just done do with some it. Drugs. Just do some drugs instead, please. <laughs> we're at the point where getting high is the lesser of two evils. We learned this week that. There's nothing wrong with blind people, and blind people are just like everybody else, but you should not let them use a gun. It's just... it. It's not discrimination! No. It's... You shouldn't. It's done. Oh, it's, the cat's just staring at you. It's just common or just sense. just get a gun either. Yeah, no. Don't get, and don't give your cats guns either. We're just like, what's a gun? Can I eat it? <sighs> we learned this week that... There are many things required to be a teacher. One of them is pants. Yes. There are ma many things required for the administration of the job, but for the keeping of the job. Yes. All right, right. you're done? Okay. I would consider that to be in one of, in the top five, pants would be one of the top five most required things. I mean, you could wear a skirt, I suppose, <laughs> if you felt strongly about it. We, we've learned that the Secret Service can't keep a two-year-old out of the White House. Well, they're small and often covered in drool, which makes them slippery. <laughs> That's just some scary shit there, man. You know they're going to be doing drills this week with, like, you know, with, like, robot toddlers and shit. And you'd like to hope that there is no situation in which a toddler is going to wind up being a danger to the president. You'd have to think, but you never know. Never know. I guess if Peter Dinklage turns evil, then you've got a problem. We learned that no matter the argument or the situation, if they're on a plane, it can wait. Yeah. I promise you, shit can wait. Finally, we learned this week that you can, in fact, get three million human beings to watch fish play a video game. That's kind of awesome, though. No, it's not, because I didn't think of it! 